Yeah, Maria. 
Sinta la boya la boya tenebo karibo lo bo Sinta la boya ndeo eh yerebo Santa la o eh no mama no yeah 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 o eh ni me me i me gar ye nu we o i me gar ye nu we o yerebo se kerebo mo Santa ra be yerebo yanta la bo burinde ke Sinta ya. Iborobo sunte ya na rebo ya tu evi no ma me marie no ma o evi ni me me evi me gari no we evi no we me ah we gari ni me o evi ni me me o me gari no we rabo se ke ya bo santu wo 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 yeah 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 wa ele mi ekpo na te. Greetings to the twelve tribes of Israel scattered in the four corner of the earth, and to the Gentiles called by the name of Abba Yehovah, Shabbat Shalom, much love and much prosperity attend your family, for you are the reason of our time like truth, because the time is simply near, right at the door, knocking deep down our soul. Are you ready for this? All right, now here we are, family. In the heavenly court room of Abbe Yowa with this powerful message titled for you and me, right from the very soul of Abbe Yehua. Ijore one of Paris is a minister of grave flash link of fire trinity. Should I take it again? Ijore one of Paris is a minister of grave flash link of fire trinity. So right now, quickly, let me pass out this warning. Like I always love to say, it's not personal. Neither sensational. Mm -mm. But by what? But by the royal law's objective. By the royal law's objective. That's what I want to do now. I want to see what the royal law has to say. Prior to this death, three people, which is the Trinity, Iore is propagating to the people of the book because I know the people of the book is under the voice of the dead people you can bear me witness she is saying you should be praying to the dead okay all right now so quickly what I want to say is this if you want to refute me okay you better do that lawfully don't do it based on your stupidity or your carnality or your idiotic attitude it's not allowed here mm -mm, it's not welcome we deal with scriptures over here. That baffles my mind to see that illit illiterate person is lady landed people. The royal law make it so clear. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by what? But by every single word that proceeded from the mouth of Abbe Yehua. You can see that in the Deuteronomy 8, 3-4. You can also see that again in John, excuse me, Matthew chapter 4. When the devil came to tempt, uh, tempt the author of life. 
you not quote the scripture, you quote the law, the Bible said. I've never heard from this very woman the Bible say. How can how can that be? How can that be illiteracy indeed is a disease? That Proverbs has and, and be hearing it. Okay? But I now see it powerfully what it meant in this in the life of this lunatic called the Yuri, fat demon filled woman. Okay, it is not personal. But when I see people deceiving people, that one hurts me to my marrow. That when I'm rebuking you, I do it with all my heart. Okay, not diluting. Mm -mm. We give it out raw, just the way it is. Now, one thing about your wife love to do. I bet you can it can't work with illiterate. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. It can't. But it can change illiteracy into a professional. Well educated, well taught. Like the case of Peter. And our apostle chapter 4, he was once illiterate. He don't go to school, he don't know how to read and write. But during uh, 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 three years and a half, the biblical messiah was with him. He was being taught. Today, in fact, it's even more powerful than professors. PhD order is powerful than they. How he wrote for Peter second. He also have his own book. Once illiterate, now begin to he now become a tutorial. Now, if you want, that is how Abbey Why is doing it. He can take a literary person you don't know school, no, you don't go to school, no public. Huh? He will work with you, it will change your life. All right, he will help you to know. He said, When the spirit of truth comes, he will teach you. Oh, he's the power, he is the most powerful teacher. He will teach you every single thing you need to you need in your ministration. If you don't, if you don't go to school, how can you read the Bible? Because this one is, is illiterate. That was why this wicked spirit infiltrated her life. And to my amazement, she now begin to, you know, also use that wicked spirit to set this learned people. You that is under the voice of this lunatic. Why can't you teach her to how to read the Bible? Because her head has said she's going to heaven. She is talking about heaven. Her head has said she said when she does, she's not going to the link of fire. Which means she, she has a clue. The, I also heard her say she is born again. When she said she was once a cut a, a cutist, mm -hmm. he said he said that was dead. He said now that she has already given her life to God, so she is talking about repentance. No, madam, give you your life to whatever. I want to I want to ask you a question. Have you ever seen a newborn baby birth into this world without no breastfeeding? He would decay. He would die. He would defect. He would die of starvation. And that is what the royal law said. As a newborn baby desire pure milk to grow. He said, let every convert desire the word of you what to grow. What is growing your spirit, man? The bloodly comments here said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every single word that proceeded from the mouth of Jehovah. That will be now Genesis way down to Revelation. So what is making you to grow since you don't know how to read? Therefore, who is giving you a message? How about your cannot speak outside his word? Because assuming you can read and write, fear you're going to understand that the spirit that is ministering to me to be talking about dead people is a wicked spirit. They will cry out for your own deliverance. You are being captured, being infiltrated by wicked spirits, and that wicked you are also passing it on, people. Quickly, a lady called, uh, uh what is it? What is her name? Uh, oh my father, Eve Brown, or Eva Brown. I accept you on one grand because I saw you putting these dead people pictures, also on your profile. Say, okay, these the people I'm looking for. To be taught out of that graveyard, to be taught out of that madness, to be taught out of this broad way that leads to this destruction, to be taught out. That was the reason why immediately I, 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 I you know, I confirmed your request. I pray that I bet you I will use this message to walk a walk with your spirit man in order for you to go and throw away this dead people image you are putting as a garment on you because your, your profile picture represents who you are. Now, dead people is representing you. That is bad, okay?
So the royal law makes it so clear, man shall not live by bread in but by every single word in order for your spirit man to go. You see, as physical bread, you cannot live on physical bread. That is, your spirit don't dwell on physical bread. He dwells, he deals with scriptures. Now, you see, as you eat your physical food to nourish your outward body, your outward, okay, to give nutrition to every muscle or, or, or tissues, organs in you, in like manner, you desire the pure, the scriptures, the word, the Bible to grow your spirit, man. Just take that simple lesson from a newborn child. If no breastfeeding, no milk, he will die. He or she will pass out. He will die of starvation. The same, why you say you are born again and you don't study the Bible? No, you won't survive. Mm -mm. You won't. And oh, your spirit man will die. He will be crushed and be squashed by the wicked spirit. So now, Yura is talking about heaven. What heaven are you going to? If it is the heaven of the biblical Yehuwah, you missed it already. And all your followers missed it already. What is she preaching to you? I've never heard of heard of this woman one day. When they now brought me to your madness, your narrative brought me to your madness. Okay? Then I said, for me to refute you, and refute you, I need to listen to your nonsense, your stupidity. Therefore, I now begin. When I said, wait, 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 wait. Almost eight hours. Are they mad? Why should one be doing the message almost seven to eight hours? That is nonsense. You're going to forget? No, because it has no grind. A message was supposed not to last two, three hours. That's it. That is the service. How can one sit down for almost eight hours? What are you saying? Oh no, that is how fetish you are. In order to tie that down, not to even have chance to do any other thing. Now, this woman has never ministered. The Bible say unto you. So what are you guys running after? What is she teaching you? In order for you to be a tutoress, because you want you are a tutor now, you, you are teaching. You call yourself illiterate is teaching. You're gonna be teaching nonsense, garbage. Okay, crap from the pit of hell. Iyore said she is a teacher, but she fails to teach herself. Okay? He said I will save one and save the entire household. So the whole big the whole journey begins with you inside of you. You are the household. After you are being taught, therefore you will not take it that teaching out. We see the biblical say he taught his disciple for a whole three and a half year. That is how it should have been. But yeah, what can take you literally, like I said, and change you into a PhD holder? It don't work with illiterate. How are you, how you going to be quoting this word? That is why you cannot quote. That is why the devil infiltrated you in order to be enslaving others, leading people to domination. Now, in your research, she is the one that they sent all these dead, dead people sent to come and fix a door precisely. <laughs> you want to fix a door, but you, you can't fix your womb to fertilize. You want to fix it though, but you can't fix your life to have your own husband and leave another uh, another woman's husband alone. The guy you are living with has two women already. What are you doing with second hands? What, being a fresh woman, you you, 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 you no, no child, no husband. What are you doing with second hand? Use and dumb. This guy has two women over in that Paris. And we know these Igbo people always have women right in their land. In the bull land, everybody knows that. So what what are you doing with another man's husband? So now you are you are a snatcher. You now snatch this Igbo man from every other two men, women, excuse me, and you bring it their song. <laughs> now you want to fix it though you you can't fix your own life, my friend. Go and fix your life first. You can't fix your own life. You can't fix your white a uh, 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 fresh man that is paralyzed. Go and fix him before you can fix others. Charity begins at all. You have not yet fixed your own life. You take somebody else's husband. You can't fix your womb. The white man you also married to, you can't fix his life. He's paralyzed, he's crippled over there. So, uh, Mrs. Fix, go and fix your life first. You don't even, nothing to talk about you. Nurse, no, no, very low, not absolute. 
No education. So what are you teaching? You see, as you desire physical food to give nutrition to every bit of you, in like manner, you deserve the scripture to make your spirit fat and grow powerfully. Nutrition. You don't have that. That's why you're talking trash. So right now, quickly, let's go. Okay, point one, I have. Okay, yeah, I want to put first of all scripture before we dig into point one. We will have, we have one through th uh, three points. Okay. So it's also going to be part one, two, three. Mm -hmm. So I want to take the points in one, one video. So here I am, first John chapter four, mm -hmm, verses one. Listen, I beloved, believe not every spirit. Come on now. Believe not every spirit, but what? But try the spirits whether they are of God. Let me read this, okay? God simply means Elohim, or Elohim means God. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. We are by no ye the spirit of Yehovah. Every spirit that confess that Yahushua HaMashiach is come in the flesh, it is of Yehovah. So now what is he saying? Any spirit that said the biblical Messiah comes in flesh. That is the right spirit. <laughs> Simply means to say, any spirit that live by the word that proceeded from the mouth of Yehovah is the right spirit. Man shall not live by bread. Don't tell me that Old Testament is nailed to the cross. That is Christian madness. That belongs to the stupidity again of the Christianity. But if they want to rob, but if these people want to rob, tithe, even though it has nothing absolutely to do with money, is food. But it's in the law, Old Testament. <laughs> it's in the law. So you know, see, it's in the law. Everything first fruit of is in the law. But if they want to steal, Jesus did not destroy that part, okay, to buy for private jet. Now, every spirit that dwells and lives in the world of Yoha, right from Genesis down to Revelation, is the right spirit. What is the flesh? He said, everyone that does not fail to confess this, that uh, Yahushua comes in flesh, that is a wicked spirit that fails to confirm it. Okay, right now, quickly, let us see what is flesh. What is flesh that one needs to, you know, confess? Here I am, John 14, uh, no, excuse me, John 1, 14. Listen now. And the world was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Is the way, the truth, and the life. You see, so it's the flesh, it's the word. Now your shadow is you, you are your shadow. That's it. Hebrew 10 verses 1 said, the law is the shadow, is the shadow of the better one to come. Is a shadow of the good thing to come. Now you can't separate your shadow from yourself. You are your shadow, your shadow is you. So the law is Yahushua, Yahushua is the law. Now let me give you one example. Matthew 5, 27 to 30. What did they say? The law said, when you fornicate, commit adultery, you will miss heaven. He said, his own is not so. Now that he has come in flesh, it's even more harder. When you look at woman waist and you lost at all, you miss heaven already. You are going to the link of fire. So what does he do? He wants you to be like-minded, like him. Okay, because he don't lust after no woman. Why should a man looking at woman with you? Like, oh, whoa, 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 but, 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 uh, you don't. Because your heart is going to be filth now. Your heart is going to be defiled. So you want your heart to be pure from this wickedness of this world in order for your heart to be focused, be heavily minded in other ways. Okay, now, so you know by now what is the flesh. Any spirit that fail to confess that this guy, the author of life, came in flesh. Is the law the law is him is the shadow. You are your shadow, your shadow is you. Your your shadow simply means you, you conceal of you. You conceal. The ray of you is you reveal. Your shadow is you, you are your shadow. You can't separate it. No human on earth without shadow. And like manner, this is Yahushua, Hebrew 10 1, the biblical Messiah. He said the law is a shadow of the good thing to come. The good one is Yahushua review, the law review. 
the shadow was they could see. That was why he said, except you eat my flesh and drink my blood, there is no life in you. So you're, you're already being condemned by this very word that I just put out. Okay. Uh-huh. Where, 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 okay. Uh, Job 14, 6 now. Quickly, I also have to read it before we now rush over. 2.1, 6 now. Listen. Yahshua saith unto, John 14, 6. Yahshua saith unto, saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one cometh unto the Father but by me. He already said it's not true. He already said you should be praying to the death, uh, three dead people. That is the title. Quickly, let me read out some uh, written that I also jot that from her own mouth. I heard this from her. That was the reason why I go into her because there's no way I can be refuting you without hearing also from your own mouth. Like, now if you want to refute me, you just come and hear from my own mouth what I say. Now, listen, now this is the quotation of this very lunatic, this demon, this Jezebel, this Delilah. Listen now. He already said, if you don't remember these three, uh, these three dead women, things will be difficult for you as a doe. You lie. I rebuke you in your words, mighty name. Hmm? Another thing she said, the death you're supposed to die, these three women had done that for you. I rebuke you in your words, mighty name, because only Messiah died for me. As an adult person. Again, she said, once you pray, you should pray through this three dead women picture. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. The Lord condemns you every step of the way. When you go to Leviticus 20, he said we should not pray through any image of anything at all. When I keep, well, ever since that brought me to your madness, when I'm studying the royal law, I see it condemning you every step of the way. You are doomed, and yet you knew it. No, you say you will not go to a really the other the the, the 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 one the heaven we are talking about here. He have a, a governing system. He have okay a governing system. The rules and regulations. If you want to come into this heaven, this is how you should live your life, and this is how how you should put your life here. This is what you you should do. But you are not doing any of those. Rather, you are doing the contrary. The very one that is going to send it to the link offer, that is what you are doing. Again, she said, okay, you should pray th uh, through this three dead women picture. And put their picture everywhere in your house. Mm, that is graveyard, okay? Again, she said, this three dead women is the pillar that hold beneath. Really, I rebuke you, Yahweh's mighty name, because the earth is Yahweh and the fullness thereof. You see? So, if you want to refute me, do it lawfully. Don't bring your idiotic over here. Your stupidity mm -mm, is not is not allowed in this platform. Not at all. We deal with scriptures, like I said, over here. So let's go to the point one. All right now, family. Point one goes this way. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? The truth, like I said, when I'm exposing the truth, regardless how hurtful or how so hard the PSCC, mm -mm, I don't care. I'm so careless because the truth is going to help you someday, somewhere. Even though you're going to see it now as an offense to you, you your lovers, but a time will come where you go, where, where you will be needy the truth. You better do it now. Don't let it be too late for you. You better do it because you don't know the next moment. Okay? So regardless how hard it is on you, I simply don't just care. Right now, point one, it goes like this. All angels are male. There is no female angel. Mm -mm. All angels are masculine. There is no feminine. Yuri, you are condemned. So let's begin to put in scriptures that validate this. No angel, no female as ever. Hebrews, I think I has to be sure. Let me read it. Prior to these three dead people, Iori is propagating unto you, telling them to be using their pictures and put it inside the water to bait and also spread it all over in their house. You are doomed. Listen now. The dead don't subscribe for the living. Mm -mm. Hebrews chapter 9, 27. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. That's it. You and I know what is going on prior to this kingdom. 
of Indian Yesige, Idenokboho, and Emota no Kawe Kyoba. We knew these are pagan people. We knew they never carry Bible. We knew they were serving the gods of the land, as we can see the picture today, right in the kingdom. This is who they are, because that is who they believe on. They serve stone and wood. Now, when you there is to face judgment, if you are righteous, you go to heaven. If not, you go to the bottomless pit. Are waiting over there to be thrown out into the link of fire after the white judgment throne. So after the east to face judgment, Italian Yeski is dead long ago. Italian Poho is dead long ago, and they are immortal. This three date, they, they, they are gone. So how can I dare be subscribing for the living? All right, now let's deal with. We see all male, all angels are masculine. There's no feminine. Mm -mm. Follow up with part two. Want to dig into the feminine part? You already seen. So let's first of all unveil this part first. All right, now listen. Genesis 18, 1, 2, 3. And Yahweh appeared unto him in the place of Mara. What? Okay. And he sent. Okay, excuse me. Let me take it again. And Yahweh appeared unto him. He stopped speaking of Abraham, the one you call Abraham. All right. All right, now take it again. Genesis 18, 1. And Yehovah appeared unto him in the place of Mamre, and he sat in the tent door in the hut of the day. And he lifted up his eyes and looked, and lo, three men stood by him. And when he saw them, he ran to meet them from the tent door and bowed himself towards the ground. The three men are angels, if you keep reading. Okay, so let's put some more. So the same angel, or the same man, came to Saddam and Gomorrah. Listen, at 19. Now. And there came two angels to Sodom at evening, and Lot sat in the gate of Sodom, and Lot, seeing them, rose up to meet them, and he bowed himself with his face towards the ground. So now we go to five. Listen. Now. And they called unto Lot, and said unto him, Where are the men which came in to thee this night? Break them out unto us that we may know them. Man, they were angels now. You know, see that we they are all male, not female. Follow up with part two and let me you know blow off your mind the female part this lunatic is seeing. All right, now here we are, Judges chapter 13, verses 3. Listen now. And the angel of Yahweh appeared unto the woman and said unto her, Behold, now thou art buried and bearest not, but thou shalt. Conceive and bear a son. Listen now. I want to see the angel. Who is the angel? It's also a man. Listen now. Verse 6. Then the wo a woman came and told her husband, saying, A man of God came unto me, and his countenance was like the countenance of an angel of Yahuwah. Very terrible. But I asked him not where he was, neither told he me his name you see man of god they are they, they are all male that's what we are talking about over no female okay all right now again here we are in daniel chapter 9 verses 21 listen yeah wise i was speaking in prayer even the man gabriel whom i had seen in the vision at the beginning being caused to fly swiftly touched me about the time of the evening abolition, the ma Havrel, okay, the one you call Gabriel, Havrel, the ma, they are all male. Let's put some more. Daniel again, chapter 12, 1. And at that time, shall Michael stood up, the great prince, which standeth for the people. All right, now, where I want to prove. Is the Michael. So, it is a masculine. Michael, it is the name of a man, not a name of a woman. <laughs> it is the name of a man. Prince, it is for man. Princess is for woman. He said the great prince sir, is a man. Masculine. Hmm? No feminine angel. We put some more. Quickly, let me throw this in. I don't want to forget it. 
uh, Luke chapter 24, verses 5. Listen up. And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, and uh, to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? Huh? Why doing it? Why seek ye the living among the dead? Why are you referring the living to the dead? And why are you saying the dead is making intercession for the living? It is unclean. No, it is a wicked spirit. Every step of the way you are being condemned. And yet you knew it not. Now this judgment is going to cut you up by surprise. And your judgment is already being declared against you. Because you are doing the works of your father the devil. Why seek ye the living among the dead? Why? Because the living, they supersede the, the, dead, the dead. After that is to face judgment. Why are you not saying that the, the dead is subscribing for the living? They are making intercession. They are giving you prayer point to death. And even the dead is you know, revealing themselves in the dream to your followers. Like Osaobo said. It then yesterday came to reveal unto him and telling him what to do. You importing demons from the pit of hell to come and be walking with humans? Do you know the gravity of your sin? You break loose the chains that bind all this wicked spirit and propagate it and introduce people to come and be having a fellowship, a dialogue with the dead people? All uh, right, now. You don't know the gravity. Illiteracy has sent you to eternal damnation. Because assuming you're born again, you should have been taught. And by so doing, you will understand what is the living and what is the dead. You will mix both together. Mm -mm. When you leave, you know what it is. When you die, you are gone. You say your father is gone, your mother is gone. In other words, you are not far. Can your father still speak for himself? Although in your own paddocks, they are still revealing themselves to you. Give you a message to be passing to your people, your followers. All right, now, about male. A masculine spirit. All angels are men, not female. Mm -mm. That's same Luke chapter 4, or 24, excuse me, verses 4 now. I just quickly want to throw in that 5, so that, verses five, so that I won't be forgetting it at all. It's very important to rebuke your madness and to expose her. So this is how we expose her in order for our brethren, under the sound of her voice, to come out of her. I'm not calling you to come and follow me, not that, oh, go to Bible. That's what I, where I'm referring you to. Listen now, verses 4. Luke 24, verses 4. Listen now. And it came to pass, as they were much, uh, much, excuse me, and it came to pass, as they were much perplexed, there about, behold, two men stood by them in shiny garments. And as they saw five, now, and, as they, and, and as they were afraid, they bowed their face to the earth, and said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here, but he is risen. Remember how he spake unto you, where he was yet in Galilee, they were angels. Men. Because that is who they are. In heaven they are angels, but whether they are not coming to this earthly domain, they need to take up human body. That was why the sons of Yehovah, the sons of God in Genesis 6, fell into a great loss. They were the sons of Yehovah sent into this earth to walk with humanity. They're not falling in lust with women, the sons of God. Because they took now the, the, the human form. Because you, in order for you to operate here on earth as an angel, you must take up the garment of this earth, which is the flesh. That was They are all male. No one has ever appeared to be masculine. Not at all. Mm -mm. Here I am. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 3. Listen now. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. Listen, and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. Who is he speaking of? He's speaking of the coming anti Messiah. Is a man. That man is an angel, but he's going to reveal now as a man. That man of sin. And his son, he said, daughter. Is the son of perdition is a son which is a man. Whether they are demon or they still can, they are all masculine. That's what we are dealing with over here. There is no Indian Yesige angel. Mm -mm. Female, masculine, uh, family. Mm -mm. It doesn't exist. Okay? You are guilt and you are condemned every step of the way. And also, uh, we want to also see another folly deity. See, yet is a man. Okay? 
Because that is the, that is the power. That, that is Abba Yehoah himself. That is the nature of Abba Yehoah. He's a masculine, not feminine. Although we see that the feminine came from the masculine. But what are we saying over here? That Abba Yehoah don't have a minister angel as a woman. All his ministry angels, they are all male. When they come here on earth, they are masculine, not feminine. Whether they are revealing themselves to you in the dream, speaking to you. Holy Spirit is the one that is supposed to reveal himself to you in the dream because the teacher is the revelator. Is the power of class is the one to prepare you into ministry. That is all his job. Is the one to convince you, is the one to help you to study, is the one to remove the sundance away from your eye in order for you to know how to read and write. Is the one to pass revelation unto you, is the one to open that which is already being written about you in the heavenly tablet, is the one to reveal it unto you who you are. The ministry where you be caught. The Almighty is the one to give you all. He is the power of miracles. And you know, the one that is doing that over here is the Holy One. That is what the, the, the Trinity of the Link of Fire want to see. That is the point too. So here I am. Isaiah 14. I'm taking from 12 to 16. Listen now. How at that folly from heaven. Oh Lucifer's son. His folly is an angel. Son of the morning. You see he's a man. Even though his folly is still a son. He's a man. How art thou cut down to the ground which didst weaken the nations? Is the one walking in the Yuri. And these are the three, these are the trinity of Iuri. <laughs> Follow up with part two. You know, it then who die. It's playing the part of Messiah. Oh no. Abba Yawa is Aksa. Follow up with part two. In order for you to know about these mysteries, listen up. 13. For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of Yehovah, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the side of the north, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds, I will make myself like the most high. This is the spirit walking in the Uri. 15. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the side of the pit. Listen now, 16. There thou see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did not, that did shake kingdoms? Fully deity. You see, this Lucifer is, is, the, is the second part of Iori Trinity. But they are revealing themselves to her. You know, what the dead, you know, what is death? That simply means separation, eternal, from Abba Yehovah into the link of fire or into domination. That is the meaning of death. The day you touch that tree, you are gone or you are gone. Because that tree itself is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. What is his name? Death. It carries death. So when you eat of him, you become one, eternal, with him. Okay? But that was why, the, that, is the, that is the initiation of the power of the cross. Okay? In order to, you know, to, to, to break the covenant he made with the first man and the first two men, and bring you life. But that has already happened. May is still returning back to the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The very one that is being called what? Death. The day you eat of that tree. The day you take his teaching. The day you, you, you listen to him. You shall surely die. Not maybe. It is settled. So in order for you not to go to the link of fire. And face domination. The son of Yehovah has to come. Being a righteous Abbe Yehovah. Yes. He initiates that. In order to. You know rescue you from his destruction but that has already taken place two thousand years ago you still refer back to the dead people those are the dead you're a minister minister unto you okay the indian yesige is the serpent the Eden is the uh, fully, uh the, the, the first messiah and what did they call the other one the uh whatever whatever what is his name uh a motor no kawe kyoba is the Folly for living creature. So that's what we want to deal with. That is the that 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 is the mystery over there. And I will also expose it to you in part two how they reveal themselves to people as a woman only in one part, only in one scripture in the entire Bible. No other place we see female angel but just one. And there was a female that disguise her. Dash don't marvel for Santa can also masquerade himself as an angel of light. Meanwhile, it's dark. He's going to reveal himself to you. Just to create confusion and chaos. Therefore, they're not disguised over there. The one they are calling each star is today. 
in same spirit. So follow up with part two. Here I am, that same Isaiah 8 verses 19. Listen now. Listen. And when they shall say unto you, seek unto them that have familiar spirits. These are familiar spirits that knows you too well. That is walking from the first mile way down to this very moment. And unto wizard, they are wizard. That uh, and that uh, a mortar should not a people listen now. Should not a people seek unto their God for the living to the dead? Why should you seek the dead for the living? I hate sharing testimony to glorify demons. If you see a time that I went through, throughout last night, I can't even smell so sick. But I said this message, I must to do it. This wicked spirit which were all night through. I woke up my leg begin to sweat. They hold my feet and said I will not move nowhere. Everybody sees it here in my in my house. I have a swelling leg. I can't even walk. As I'm talking, I can't walk. 